In this lecture, I will take you through simple bar graph and multiple bar graph for quantitative data. Let's take an example to get started. Let's say you work for an e-commerce company and you want to analyze the sales data that you have on a quarterly basis. So let's create two columns first, quarter and sales. So this column is quarter. And this is sales. Let's write the four quarters now. So the first quarter is uh, January to March, then April to June, July to September, and October to December. And let's say this is this color. Let's now put the sales values. So I'm randomly putting the sales values here. And let's say that the sales data that we have is in $100. So this is in $100. So in the first quarter, the sales was $2,300. In the second quarter, it was $4,500. And let's say in the third quarter, it was $3,100. And in the fourth quarter, it was $4,100. Now let's construct a simple bar graph using this data. To create the simple bar graph, we first select the data, then click on insert, click on column, and select this chart here, the leftmost chart in the 2D column category. And that's it. This is the first draft of your simple bar graph. You can modify the chart title. You can also add the horizontal axis title and the vertical axis title. And uh, you can also change the color of the bar graph depending on your preference. I covered all these things while I was uh, discussing bar graphs for qualitative data. So I'm skipping this part for now. So uh, this is all about the simple bar graph and um, the procedure is exactly the same as what we covered while discussing the bar graph for qualitative data. Let's now move to multiple bar graph. So uh, say this is the sales data for 2014. So this is for 2014. And uh, you have sales data for 2015 as well that you want to analyze. So let's record that data in this table. And uh, this is for 2015. Once again, I'm randomly putting the numbers here. So it's uh, 19, 49, and say 33, and um, 39. So let's delete this uh, simple bar graph. And let's make a new bar graph, which will be a multiple bar graph. So select this data click on insert, click on column, and once again, select the same leftmost chart that we selected last time. Let me expand this chart to give you a clear view. So this is your multiple bar graph. Notice here that the blue color represents the year 2014 and the red color represents the year 2015. Now we can easily make a comparison looking at this multiple bar graph. Here we can see that the sales in the first and fourth quarter of 2014. So this is the first quarter and this is the fourth quarter and the sales in the first quarter and the fourth quarter of 2014 were greater than the sales in the first quarter and fourth quarter of 2015. So the blue rectangle that we have for both these quarters is greater than the red rectangle. You can take out any other inferences as well from this data, depending on what you want to analyze. Okay, let's make one more addition here. Let's say with this uh, 2014 and 2015 data, you have sales data for 2013 also, and you want to compare that as well. So let's record our 2013 sales data in this column 
so this column is now for 2013 sales data and once again I am randomly putting up some numbers here so say these are the sales figure for 2013 now to add 2013 sales data to this bar graph I don't have to construct this bar graph once again I can just right click here and click on select data and if you can see here we already have data for 2014 and 2015 so so to add data for 2013 click on add and in the series name box select this and in the series values select the values and click on ok So here you can see that now we have sales data for three years in one graph and you can use this graph to make comparisons. There is one more way to compare this data. Let me show you that as well. So uh, select the chart, right click and click on select data. And now click on this button, switch row column. Once you do this, this is how your multiple bar graph will look like. Notice that in your legend entries, you have quarters now. And we can easily see in this graph, which quarter recorded the highest or the lowest sales in these years. So let's see for 2014 first. So in 2014, the highest sales was in the second quarter. This is the second quarter. And the first quarter recorded the lowest sales. Similarly, you can see for other years as well. You can also look for some seasonal patterns here if you are interested. For example, if you notice in all these years, the second quarter recorded the highest sales. So in 2014, the second quarter that is the April to June quarter has the highest sales. In 2015 as well, the second quarter has the highest sales among these four quarters. And in 2013 as well, uh, the second quarter has the highest sales among these four quarters. So uh, this could be because of some seasonal pattern. Okay. And if you want, you can also add the data labels here. So uh, say if you want to add the data labels for second quarter, so select the second quarter, right click and click on add data labels. And we can also remove these grid lines. This makes the graph look better actually. So this is all about the simple bar graph and multiple bar graph.